What is going on guys? It's your boy James Michael from Gym Reviews here today outside, you know, I'm gonna do a workout, but before I do the workout, I figured, you know what, let's get the video out. Let's give the people what they want and let them know what I think about the brand new Skechers Go Run 7 Plus. Now, first off, Skechers, please. Stop the naming, this is getting ridiculous. The Go Run Ride, the Go Run This, the Go Run Plus 7S Max Art, no, stop it. It's, it's getting ridiculous. But here we are. The Go Run 7 Plus. This is essentially Skechers' way of giving the people what they want. People complain, and by people I mean like mostly me and a few others, but we complain that in the original Go Run 7, the upper was a little bit too sloppy. It was nice, it was cool, but as far as functionally running, it was a little too sloppy. It wasn't containing your foot in at the higher speeds. It was like a relaxed shoe, like a casual shoe that can, you can run in. But this is gonna be their attempt in seeing if it's your all-arounder shoe, your dedicated lightweight shoe. And so with all that said, let's get right into the shoe. So the main thing here is the upper. Now the original shoe had like a flat knit type of setup. This is more of a mesh. Now it's still flexible enough to kind of feel comfortable so it's not super restricting. I was hoping they wouldn't overcompensate by saying, all right, you guys want a more contained fit? We're gonna make it real contained. No, they didn't do that luckily. So it's just enough to say, all right, this is more contained than original. And I would agree on that. The fit is nice, there's no hot spots, the hill cup, everything's intact. This upper was like, just take no risk. Let's just do the things that people want. Let's keep it simple and to the point. Keep it functional. This upper is functional. Everything from the flat tongue to the pull tab to the laces. Wait, pull tab? Oh yes, we still got the pull tab. And besides that, if you see my review on the Go Run 7, I think I was collaborating with uh, Believe in the Run, everything's the same. The cushioning, the hyperburst, the, the little rubber pods here, it's all the same. So I would say on dry roads, it's fine, but this is the point. Right now, you see it's a little moist, it's a little humid, and I've had this shoe for about three weeks now. I couldn't say anything till now because Sketch was like, hold on, wait until like February, you know, okay, okay I'm here, I'll wait it, I'll wait it. But the wait is over. You know, I'm all about the positivity, but you know, I keep it real. This shoe reminds me of like a Convara with a little more structure to it, a little more stack height, a little more, a little more pop. But you're thinking, oh, so this is better than the Kinvara. Not necessarily. My voice cracked. I think it did. Because although I do love the Hyperburst, and it's responsive, it's cushioning, it feels good underfoot, the shoe starts to fall apart in wet conditions. I mean, this shoe is so light. For the amount of cushioning and structure that you get, this shoe is super light until it gets wet. And I know you're thinking, Jamie, like, what do you mean? If the shoe gets wet, yeah, water waste stuff is going to get heavy. No. This thing absorbs water. Like, it's humid out here. Just take all the water and just sucks it in. It's like, Whew. I'm not sure if it's the type of knit they use or the mesh they use, but this thing absorbs water and it just keeps it. It holds it in. So, I don't, I don't know. So, there's two ways to review the shoe. In regular, everyday, sunny conditions, this shoe's a banger. I'm talking like A1 steak sauce. But when it's wet and it's humid or, or there's puddles or anything, this shoe will turn on you. This is like that girl you go, oh no, she's cute. You know, take her on a date, she seems normal. And then once you commit to her, she has that crazy ex-boyfriend. And that and that's the knit right here. And by that time, it's too late. You've already committed. So now you gotta deal with the ex-boyfriend, her, and all her daddy issues. So basically on a day like this, I, I'm not using this shoe. I'm not, it's just hard to use it. The second it gets like, dry and it's like normal conditions i'm all for it so if you live like in seattle portland that those cities in the northwest pacific it gets a little wet every now and then and again probably not but if you live somewhere with the humidity slow i say this is a go run seven <laughs> i see what i did there <laughs> all right but yeah those are my thoughts on the go run seven plus not a huge update but a decent update if you say which one's better the seven plus or the seven I would say seven plus, but when it rains, I'm going somewhere else. But luckily there's more shoes out there to choose from. And I just appreciate Skechers stepping up to the plate to say, all right, people are complaining now, let's fix it now. They didn't wait till two years later to fix it. They didn't wait a whole year. They say, no, let's just do it now. Let's fix it now. So they're listening. So in the comment section, on the IG comments, on the reviews you guys post, all that, they read all those things. So let them know what we want, therefore they can make it happen. 
And right now, we want the speed elite. Come on, guys. The speed elite. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. But with that said, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs. And if you can, keep it tight.